the amphibious landing and island defense phase of this year's armed forces of the Philippines joint exercise Ajax Dagit Pa has been successfully completed in San Antonio, Zambals on Wednesday. Our joint forces were able to able successfully complete the amphibious landing and island defense exercises here in San Antonio, Zambals, this is part of the joint interoperability exercises being conducted, and geared towards better performing our mandate to protect the people and the state, Northern Luzon Command Nolcom, Head Lieutenant General Arnulfo Marcelo Burgos Jr. during an online press conference on Dajit Par exercises. The military drills started November 23 and will conclude on December 4. Dagit Par or Dagat Langit Looper is a unilateral exercise that aims to further enhance the joint force interoperability and cohesiveness of the AFP across defense mission areas. We were able to meet the objectives of this amphibious landing, and the island defense exercises which seek to develop the military skills, techniques and capabilities during rapid deployment of troops, from ship to shore, whether or under hazardous circumstances or during natural disasters or hostile enemy actions, Burgos said. The Nolcom chief said the AFP has gained more knowledge and further beefed up its proficiency in sea-to-land operations in these joint exercises. We will be sure to use these new skills and techniques in future operations from which no other than the Filipino people will benefit in times of need, Burgos said. Meanwhile, Dajit Par Exercise Director and AFP Spokesperson Major General Edgar de Revelo said the amphibious phase of the exercise highlights the capability of the military to launch operations from ship to shore using the amphibious capabilities of the Philippine Marine Corps PMC. Formerly, such capabilities of the PMC were carried out using LDCP or small motorized vessels. With the advent of the amphibious or armored assault vehicles AAVs, which were delivered in 2019, Arevalo said it gives him goosebumps to see Marines going ashore aboard these AAVs which were launched from BRP Tarlac, LD-601, at a speed of 5 knots and proceeding towards their beachhead and launching their operation further inland. Also demonstrated was the mine-clearing capability of Naval Special Operations Group in the Water and Intelligence, Surveillance and Recon ISR, capabilities of Philippine military aircraft. Arevalo said AFP demonstrated the capabilities to seize objectives inland while land forces, particularly the infantry, managed to show their ability to counterattack against a group that invaded the island. The capabilities of the Special Operation Command SOCOM personnel such as operations in urban terrain were shown while the 1st Brigade Combat Team BCT, showed its ability to launch tank infantry operations, among others. It is now a matter of us being able to make all these assets and personnel and work seamlessly to attain the AFP mission, Arevalo said.